Hiya, yeah. so as promised, um, the not so successful uh, nails that are not a set, they are not a set. <laughs> I have to say that because it just looks like a right concoction and they're really not a set. One's a cartoon and the other three are Christmas. Um, yeah. I had to dig deep to put this out, I can tell you. But I did say I put my mistakes, so here we go. I am going in with Nail Vanities Blizzard White um, on all four of the nails. Um, I've left it all in. Hence the um, 38 minutes. So feel free to fast forward if you don't want to see acrylic application. So um, Nail Vanities White is lovely. It's not sticky. As you can see, it's not sticking to my brush. I'm pushing it into the cuticle there and along the sidewall and pulling down. I think I speed this up at some point. I think I let you see a nail or two and then speed it up because, you know, I don't want to bore you. That's the Nail Vanity number 10 brush as well. Um, and the Hema Free Monomer. Everything I use today is Nail Vanity. I will um, put it in the descriptions as well for you uh, with a cheeky little discount code. Some whites can be sticky because this is quite a pigmented colour. But, you know, I, I just find Nail Vanity Acrylic just so nice to work with. Again, my dog is sitting next to me. If you hear snoring, it will be him. On cue. Oh well. I'm trying to get the glove. Trying really hard at the minute to focus on my shaping with the brush, so I do faff around. I am sure I'll get quicker and more intuitive at this, but um, hence why I sped up the rest of it because um, I'm a faffer. What can I say? For those of you that do watch, please pop me a like so that I know you're there and I'm not just talking to myself. Um, or a comment or anything really, just let me know someone's there. It'd be lovely if you could subscribe and share as well. This channel is from the perspective of a beginner. Um, not because I think I'm wonderful, I don't, I'm a beginner. And I've learnt so much from YouTube but it was also a little bit daunting because um, there's so much perfection out there. And that's great. It's inspirational. But, you know, it makes you feel a little bit self-conscious when you're making mistakes. So I wanted to show my mistakes. Um, and it's all right. It's all right to make mistakes. That sigh was my dog. So look how nicely that white acrylic moves. You can pat and pull that down the nail with, or up the nail, I never know which way it is, with relative ease. Trying to keep those side walls nice and straight as well. Honestly, when you get to past the acrylic application and you start to see, I really am just having a play. I've seen a couple of things on Facebook and um, Instagram and YouTube, and I thought, I want to have a go. I want to have a go at Christmas. I love Christmas. But then I really wanted to have a go at the cartoon nail as well, and I thought, oh, bugger it, I'm going to do on both. They won't have to be a set, will they? It's just me playing. So that's what I did. And 
and I chose to concentrate on shorter nails because they seem to be my nemesis. I don't know why, but on people, I mean, I had somebody in the other day and I started record, recording and uh, my camera only records because it's not a camcorder. God, they're old, I'm old. Um, it doesn't continue, you have to keep pressing play, pressing record. Um, and I forgot, we got gas in and I forgot. I will try and remember the next actual person that comes comes to me for nails and agrees to being recorded that is. got another couple of videos to edit for you. One is um, two hands only doing the fingers because there's no point in doing the thumb, it's hidden away, um, of French and um, the other is also Christmas, I love Christmas, but the other Christmas isn't an entire success either because my gonk is awful. I'll show you though. So I filed off camera because, you know, this would be an even longer video otherwise. I am using today the Nail Vanity liner brushes and they're beautiful. They're Kalinsky Hair, 100%. Um, they're just so nice to work with. It's just that, you know, I'm not very good. <laughs> so I'm going in with base coat for this nail. Um, not curing it so it acts like a blooming gel. Um, I was trying to do very, very fine black lines um, for a sort of marbling effect, however, um, no, no it did not work. My lines were not organic enough, they were too stick straight, um, so I ended up turning that nail into something entirely different and using those stick straight lines as a kind of background. I mean, look, please, get some wiggle in your lines, girl, they're awful. I then come in with another brush and try and save it, and again, it just doesn't work. So I cured that and I came in again and tried to fix it <laughs> and it still didn't work. God loves a trier. <laughs> but it did make a good background. You know, watching this back now, I'm just thinking, oh, please, just stop.
it looks like I'm trying to do some fancy Japanese writing badly. So this is my cartoon nail. I've got two nail vanity colours of a, a similar palette, um, one darker than the other. Do you know, even my computer didn't want me to post this. <laughs> I could not upload these files for love nor money. Nail vanity is nicely pigment pigmented. I do go in with two coats though. Um, but as you can see, it covers really nicely. I didn't really need two coats in that one. Back in for the second coat. Such a pretty colour, look at that. So I'm getting that darker colour now once I've cured the, the, that. Um, just popping a little bit on a bit of form paper. It's great for this. And a little bit of white as well. I've got the black already there from the cock up on the previous nail, but hey. So I watched something the other day uh, that taught me a good lesson and that was to drag your brush through, you know, when you've got a long line of brush or any brush, drag it through the, the paint, the gel paint and wipe it as you go so you, you haven't got that globby bit at the end and that was a really good tip. These liner brushes are fantastic, they really are. Just remember to keep them out the way of your lamp. I have cured a brush just from being uh, near it while it was on.
So now I've got a um, shorter length liner brush and I'm going in with the darker colour. Um, just to accent the and make it the cartoon nail. Trying to be as neat as I can. I'm doing the little dot and line there. And then I go in with white and just add a couple of highlights. I don't know whether I was brave or stupid really because I did all this um, without curing them individually. I should have done really. But it worked out okay this time. I was lucky for this one. I didn't know where to put the second one. This is out of my head. I was not um, copying. I should have perhaps had a, an image up to copy, but I didn't. Um, this is just sort of from the various things I'd seen. And that's what it looked like shiny. So I'm going to matte the top coat now. Move the bottle out of the way. Nail Vanity's matte top coat is gorgeous. It's so velvety and it's flawless. It doesn't leave any marks or um, discrepancies. It's really good. And map that hideous mess of uh, a nail too, so I can do something. I was thinking what to do with it, I wasn't going to leave it. So, the ring finger again, nail vanities. Um, gel, very pigmented, beautiful, lasts ages. I've had people who are on their feet all day <clears throat> and I've done their toenails and six, eight, maybe more weeks later that gel polish is still there. It's not chipped, it's not moved at all other than with the growth of the nail. What a lovely colour. I can't remember which one it is, mind you. So I've obviously cured that. 
And I've come in with <clears throat> a mix of um, two gels, just black and, and red, just to darken the red up a bit. Um, we are doing a Santa's hat. Now in hindsight, I would have come further down the nail with the hat, made it a bit of a fuller hat. And I think actually I would have perhaps matte top coated that as well, but I didn't. But it was just a playtime and I've learned, so, you know, not everything is going to be a success, is it? This is why we have practice hands. Or partners. <laughs> I use uh, the Katie Barnes Protects, the uh, little film, the film sticker thing that you put on the nail, and you can put acrylic or hard gel or, you know, any enhancement on top. And then just pop them off afterwards. That's really handy for practicing, especially cuticle work and getting those um, side walls right. It takes a bit of bribery sometimes. <laughs> But it's very handy. So I've cured that and I'm just going to smudge it all over the end of my brush. Um, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to tidy the lines up a little bit and add a little bit of shadow detail. And then I go round some of it with a black. the second cure. But you see what I mean? I should have come down the nail a bit. It should have been a bit more of a substantial hat. So that's cured. Back to the black. Add a few lines where they're needed, where that the floppy part of the hat hangs over, we needed some lines there to define it. You know, a big part of this for me is knowing when to stop. You can do too much and just ruin it, which is what I tend to do. And then finally, um, for this nail, I'm in with my, um, oh god, what they're called? Dotting tool, that's it. And to do the, the bobble on the hat and the, the trim of the hat. And I faff around with this for ages. It's just a bobble. You'd think I was painting you know, some work of art, it's just a bubble. And just when you think I'm done, I'm not.
what I could have done as well um, with the bobble and the, the white fringes um, poured some clear acrylic over it to make it textured but no, I complicate matters and go in with an old makeup brush and try and stipple it just wanted to fluff the edges up a bit so it wasn't so controlled a bit looser So back to the disaster nail. This is a stunning sort of jelly, so it's got a transparency to it, but it's still rich and deep in colour. That blue is just gorgeous. I mean, look. So I decided this was going to be a sort of wintry night tree scene with a bit of snow and that colour just was perfect top coat that one Nail Vanity's um, glossy top coat is to die for. I have got other brands by the way, but I just tend to go to, you know, my Nail Vanity first. A little bit more white and the old faithful makeup brush that was never ever used as a makeup brush it's just one of those things I've had in the cupboard for ages so the ground snow has to be more opaque And for the uh, the rest of the snow, the falling snow, if you like, I mix a little bit of um, matte top coating just to give it some transparency so that it, it's not quite as solid as the the ground snow. And then I go in with my dotting tool the tiny tiny end put some tiny little specks on falling snow all the snows again the dog I do love my dog Now he's heavy breathing. <laughs> that really is the dog. It's not me. <laughs> oh God, does. So you can start to see how that awful twiggy thing at the end is creating a backdrop. So it's not just a tree. There's there's some depth to it. Um, back with my liner brush to paint an actual tree. Um, and I do go in and add some snow on the tree as well sorry about that we live on a main road 
they get a bit excitable at night and it is 20 past 11 in Lemonek. I seriously overthink this tree by the way. I had shadow, I had highlights, I had I had snow. It's a tree on a nail no bigger than what a centimetre. But you've got the full Bob Ross on this nail. Oh, that downward movement was a hint of a trunk as well. I oh, seriously overthought this. I do clean my liner brushes properly by the way, don't just wipe them on a bit of tissue, I um, don't put them in acetone, I clean them with Jarrah's Dew Wipe Off Solution and that seems to do the trick, between two pieces of uh, lint free wipe. So popping a bit of snow on those branches now. Just makes the tree pop a little bit more because it was kind of merging. Yeah, that was a very quick glimpse. Uh, glimpse, glimpse, glimpse. So the last nail. What am I doing now? My top coating that. Yeah. Again, I should have done this matte. I think the tree should have been matte. In hindsight, that is. But I didn't. I glossed. And I glossed that one again for some reason. Obviously, I forgot I'd already done it. So, this last nail is a more simplistic tree. It's just lines. And then I add baubles with pieces of glitter that I faffed around with. I mean I've cut an awful lot of it out because you know this is a long video otherwise. Um, just placing uh, chameleon glitter from Nail Vanity. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous but I fannied around with what size of glitter I needed to put where and what colour. Um, Far too much. Serial overthinker, honestly. And I'm pretty sure there are people that would wiggle a brush once and that, that tree would be painted on there. But it was my first time doing it, so I'm giving myself a break. Well, I'm going to leave you now to see the rest of the video without my uh, my voice annoying you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please pop me a subscribe or a like or a share or a comment or anything 
No, I'd be so grateful. I mean, look, look at that glitter. How gorgeous. But I really am going now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I've got a couple of more to upload. Um, but I won't bombard you, so I'll, I'll get them ready and then upload them at a later date. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.